As an alternative to using the Pythagorean theorem to find the missing sides of right triangles, we can use these three special right triangles, the 30, 60, 90, the 45, 45, 90, and the 3, 4, 5 right triangle in order to find missing links because of the relationships of their sides. Looking first at the 30, 60, 90 degree triangle, if I told you that the short leg of this right triangle had a length of x, the hypotenuse uh, in relation to the short leg would be twice as long. So we would give this the value of 2 times x. The long leg in relation to the short leg would be x times the square root of 3. Going to the 45, 45, 90 degree triangle, um, notice that this is an isosceles. In other words, this length and this length are the same. The converse of the isosceles triangle theorem states that if two angles in a triangle are equal, their opposite sides are equal. Therefore, if I said this had a length of x and this leg had a length of x, so those two will always be the same. The hypotenuse has a length of x times the square root of 2. And in the 3, 4, 5 right triangle, uh, any time I have a relationship of a leg being 3 or some multiple of 3 and the other leg being a longer leg being having a length of 4 or some multiple of 4, then the hypotenuse will always have a length of 5 or some multiple of 5. All right, so we're going to go through examples of these three types of triangles so you can get an idea, clarify as to how this is used. So we're going to call this the short leg. We'll call that SL, short leg. This is the long leg, long leg. And this is the hypotenuse. All right, so if I give you a short leg, let's say of uh, two, the hypotenuse is going to be twice as long. So that would be 4, and the long leg would be 2 times the square root of 3. Likewise, if I said that the hypotenuse had a length of 10, well then I know that the short leg is going to be half that amount, so that would be 5, and then the long leg is going to be 5 times the square root of 3. Now, if the long leg has a length of a whole number, like let's say 7, uh, the short leg will have a length of 7 over the square root of 3, and the hypotenuse would be double that, so that would be 14 divided by the square root of 3. All right, so that's the 30, 60, 90 relationship. Let's go to the 45, 45. Now each of these have equal legs, so there's no short leg or long leg. Uh, we can call this uh, leg 1 and leg 2. Oops, let's try that again. We can call this leg 1, leg 2, and this is the hypotenuse. So, if I said that leg 1 had a length of um, 8, then leg 2 is also going to have a length of 8, and the hypotenuse would be 8 times the square root of 2. If I said leg 2 had a length of oh, 3, then the other leg would also have a length of 3, and the hypotenuse would have a length of 3 square root of 2. Suppose the hypotenuse had a length, let's say, of 7. Then the lay, each of the legs would have lengths of 7 divided by the square root of 2. All right, so that is the 45, 45, 90. Now let's go to the 3, 4, 5. Here again, we have a short leg, a long leg, and a hypotenuse. So we have short leg, long leg, and the hypotenuse. So here, um, if I said the short leg was 3 and the long leg is 4, then the hypotenuse is going to be 5. If I said that the hypotenuse was, um, 
Well, let's say that the hypotenuse was uh, 15. That means the long leg is going to be 12, and the short leg is going to be 9. If I said that the long leg was 20, that means that the hypotenuse would be 25, and the short leg would be 15. If I said that the um, short leg was, oh, let's say, uh, 27, so that's 3 times 9. So the long leg would be 4 times 9, which would be 36. And the hypotenuse would be 5 times 9, which would be 45. So you can see that they're all multiples of 3, 4, and 5. If I multiply 3 by 3, I get 9. Multiply 4 by 3, I get 12. Multiply 5 by 3, I get 15. Multiply 3 by 5, I get 15. 4 by 5, I get 20. And 5 by 5, I get 25. If I multiply 3 by 9, 3 times 9 is 27. 4 times 9 is 36. 5 times 9 is 45. So those are relationships that will easily help you to find the lengths of missing sides of special right triangles.